Hello and welcome to another episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at one of my favorite features in Photoshop CC and that is the new Camera Raw filter. Now in the past, photographers are used to starting in Camera Raw when they shoot in Raw. In other words, when you shoot a Raw file, double click on it, it opens up in Photoshop and goes straight to Camera Raw first. However, if you're a designer or a photographer working in JPEG or TIFF, uh, then Camera Raw would have to be something you would have to think of up front because if you open up that JPEG or open up that Photoshop, or I'm sorry, that uh, TIFF file in Photoshop, it would just open. And then if you said, oh, I want to open that in Camera Raw, you'd actually have to close it first and then tell it to reopen in Camera Raw. So um, a lot of times it kind of disrupt, disrupts the workflow because you may have already started creating layers, you may have already started doing things to the image, and now you want to open it in Camera Raw and it becomes that much more difficult. Well, luckily that all goes away in Photoshop CC because in Photoshop CC, you can actually use Camera Raw as a filter on any layer in any file type. So as before, it was limited to RAW, TIFF, JPEG, and some versions of PSD. Now it is open to any layer. So let's take a look. I've got an image open here and it's an image I shot back in 2009. Now I do have the raw version of this, but I went ahead and saved this as a PSD with uh, no layers. So it's pretty flat. And what I would like to do first is the beauty of camera raw is that it's non-destructive. So I want that same thing when I apply it as a filter. And in order to achieve that, I'm just going to go to the filter menu. Before I go to Camera Raw, I'm going to say Convert for Smart Filters. What that will do is make anything I do to that layer that it just converted uh, non-destructive. So I can always go back and make adjustments. Now that I've done that, I can go to my filter menu, come to Camera Raw as a filter. And again, without having to close the file first, it just takes me straight to Camera Raw. So now I can have all the Camera Raw goodness that I love um, in working with my raw files. Now I took this image back in 2009, very flat, dull. I was actually kind of disappointed when I got this uh, out of the camera. And uh, luckily with Camera Raw, I can bring it back. So first thing is the blacks need to be blacker. So let's go ahead and darken those. I can go all the way down, but I don't need to go quite that far. Uh, next, I wanna increase the contrast. And because this is a landscape image, I can go a little crazy with the clarity and vib vibrance, which I do usually on landscapes or people, and saturation, which I rarely do on people. I can go ahead and pump up the saturation to get those blues nice and blue, those oranges nice and orange. However, no matter how much I adjust it, the sky that was cast on this is kind of blowing out the top part of this image. And so what I'll do is use the graduated filter, and we'll just go ahead and pull that down, and I can make a very nice adjustment at the top just using the exposure controls. So I can just bring down the exposure of the top part of that image to kind of balance it out with the rest of the image so it doesn't look so washed out at the top. Now, speaking of adjustments, let's go to the adjustment brush where I don't want to adjust the exposure. Let's go ahead and balance that back out or the clarity or, well, actually I do want the saturation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the saturation. Now it's not going to make that big of a difference because this is already pretty saturated for the blue water. Um, here we'll go over here and just keep painting on this part. And this is why I like working in Camera Raw. I don't have to worry about masking at first, creating layers, doing any of that kind of stuff because the adjustment brush will auto mask. And now to just make that water just a little bit more bluer, I can just drop the temperature, make it very cold, make it very warm, or somewhere in the middle. So we'll just make it just a little bit bluer than it was before. And now I can do the same kind of adjustment. Let's make a new adjustment here and we'll make an adjustment on the mountain itself. Now, of course, I don't want temperature in this case. I'll go ahead and put the temperature back to zero, uh, but I do want saturation. So now it's, and again, it was already pretty saturated, so it's not gonna do a whole lot with saturation. But now that I've made this adjustment on the mountain, I can kind of balance that out a little bit more by dropping the exposure of just that adjustment I just made. Good, right about there maybe. And also uh, increase the sharpness of it. 
because it is a landscape, we can go nuts with sharpness and uh, clarity and things like that. So we've got our image adjusted. Now again, we click OK. It will process that as a filter. And because I did it not as a smart object, I can always come back and turn off that filter. Turn and That's my before, by the way. Turn on the filter, double click, and get right back to all of those same settings. So if I go to the adjustment brush, there are my two adjustments. I can go back and tweak those if I want. I've got my graduated filter. I can go back and tweak that if I want. And I've got all the other adjustments there at my disposal to go back and readjust. So that is why I love Camera Raw as a filter because I can, I'll can i now use it more than ever before and not just on raw files, but pretty much any layer that needs an adjustment needs it easily and non-destructively, especially for things like temperature and white balance, which are just an eyedropper click away in Camera Raw. So that's the new Camera Raw as a filter. My name is Terry White. It's been my pleasure. And thanks for watching this episode of Creative Cloud TV.